Welcome back to the channel guys. First video in a few weeks, but hopefully you'll enjoy this one. It's a really simple one, and it's how I mix my ground bait for margin fishing. Now, got a match tomorrow at Shearsby Valley Lakes, and a large part of my match will be spent fishing down the margins with paste over ground bait. Now, it's a popular tactic, especially feeding ground bait in the edge. Um, and as it's sort of evolved and developed over the years, we've sort of realized that you've got to get your ground bait fully saturated. And by that, I mean as much water as you can get into it without turning it into a slop. That way it keeps the fish on the bottom, makes them much easier to catch. If you use something that's just barely wetted or mixed in a sort of traditional manner, it just wafts up off the bottom and the fish become an absolute nightmare to catch. I've had it myself, you foul look them and all that. Don't want that, we just want to make sure our ground bait is fully saturated, literally to the point where it almost becomes a slop, but it isn't. Right, so that's that out of the way. We want to get it as wet as possible. And the easiest way I found to do it is to rewrite the rule book a little bit and mix the ground bait backwards. Like obviously the textbooks and everyone's told you over the years, you put your ground bait in first, add a little bit of water at a time until you get the desired mix. But when you're edge fishing, I just think that that's just a long winded way of doing it. And I've worked out a little system that just works. It's foolproof, especially with the ground baits that I like to use. So firstly, the ground bait, Sonya Bait's Krill and Squid. What an amazing ground bait. It stinks. It's full of like squid meal, krill meal. Just stinks. Really, really strong, potent fish meal smell. And it's got a real dark, sort of dull brown colour, which I like. I think when you're fishing these commercials now, you want something that match, closely sort of matches the lake bed, and that one does the job nicely. Um, but the most important thing about this for me is I can get loads of water in it. Um, you know, I can fully saturate it, and it's going to be heavy, and it just clumps out of the pot and goes exactly where I want it. So that's a key thing. Secondly, the amount of water we're going to put in. Now, that is a EVA small accessory bowl, and I've got that full of just normal tap water. Like I say, this is the evening before the match. I like to do this the night before, and then I can tweak it. Um, and what I'll do, I'll put that whole, whole tub of water in. So let's get that in. So that's a three litre EVA bowl full of water straight in. Now we'll get the, get the ground bait, wash that straight in. The whole bag, because I'm going to need the whole bag for tomorrow. And as you can see, so I've got the water in first, then I've got the ground bait. And then it's just a, simply a case of get make sure all the particles are in, mix it round into a slop like that, and that is it. As quick as that. So what's that taking me? 30 seconds? That ground bait now is, every particle is saturated, so I've not, whereas if I'd add water on top, it'd be bitting around, there'd be dry bits, not so dry bits, wet bits, you know what I mean? Whereas if doing it this way, every, every bit of ground bait in that bowl gets the same amount of water. And as you can see, it's already absorbing that. Lovely, lovely wet mix. So what we'll do, we'll give that 10 minutes. It's all it takes to absorb all that water. We'll give it 10 minutes and we'll show you the next part of the process. But that is it, that's as simple as it is. And to be honest with you, if it wasn't for a YouTube video where I'm showing you how to do these things properly, that is how I'd use it. Straight out of the bowl, I'm not bothered about lumps and stuff like that, but I will show you the end result, especially once it's been passed for a riddle. Right, so the ground bait has had 10 minutes to sort of absorb that water. Um, you can leave it as long as you want, but like I say, I'm going to leave this overnight anyway, but I just wanted to sort of show you this process. Now, like I say, if this was me in a match normally, It'd be in there, look, it's like a cake. It's set in the bottom of that bucket now. Um, all I would literally do is get in there, rummage it up with my hands, sort of fluff it up a bit, and then feed that. I ain't bothered about lumps and stuff. But for the sake of this, and obviously showing you guys how to do it properly, then we're going to riddle it. Now, I've got one of the bigger riddles, the six mil ones. And you don't want to be fanning around with like thinner, like, um, lower diameter riddles like a four mil and a three mil and stuff, it just takes you too long. And this, this stuff, it's all about, you know, large volumes of bait getting big fish fed in the margin. So don't worry about the odd lump. As you can see, that ground bait, it's like set in there like a cake, but look how fluffy it is. And the, and the key thing is that everything in there is fully saturated. There's no, not gonna be any dry bits in this whatsoever. So let's just get that on the riddle. That's certainly some of it. Look at that, it's just set in there like a cake. And like I say, if this was a match, I'd just get my hands in there, and that is how I would have it, just like that. Straight out of the bucket, but like I say, 
because of all the trolls out there, we'll do it properly. Through a riddle. And you can see how quickly with this big berth of riddle, how quickly that goes through there. Really easy. Because this sort of style of riddle allows you to get loads of ground bait in there. But the key thing is, because of how I've mixed it backwards, if you like, putting the water in first and then make sure every particle is fully saturated, the mix is incredibly even. So that's the key thing here. And it just speeds up the process. You know, if you get yourself a little measure like I did, one of them to one bag of our krill and squid is perfect. You know, if you were using a kilo mix, obviously I'd probably half a bowl, half a bag of that, and that would come out lovely. So just keep that in mind. Super simple. There we go. Perfectly wetted ground bait. Absolutely perfect. I can feed that in clumps, how I like to do it. I have a big pot on the pole and I'll literally, I sort of take a, a loose ball like that, wedge it in my pot, feed it like that. And that just ensures it goes straight to the bottom. Just amazing ground bait. It absolutely, pen and inks, really is strong smelling that stuff. Perfect that is. Great ground bait, easy to mix. And that little system, putting the water in first, is absolutely perfect.